Hi everyone, I just wanted to post a really quick video here on the main number file channel about something new I'm doing that might be of interest, and that is a number file podcast. Obviously I travel all over the place meeting mathematicians and numbery people making short videos. But also in recent years I've started making a couple of podcasts, and it got me thinking. It seems crazy that I'm travelling around and meeting all these people who've got so much to say, and just making these short videos, I could make a podcast with them as well. So that's what I'm doing. The first three episodes are up already. They're interviews with Hannah Fry, which is the one that's just gone up today. Although I was a massive nerd, what I really wanted to do was be a hairdresser. And my mum was like, OK, what we'll do, you just do your A-levels and then we'll talk about this again. So I did maths, physics and chemistry A-levels. And then after I did my A-levels, I was like, you know, I still would quite like to do a hairdressing course. My mum was like, tell you what, just go off to university and do an undergraduate degree in maths with theoretical physics. And then after that, <laughs> then we'll talk about <laughs> hairdressing. We'll talk about it. And then, uh, yeah, by the time I'd finished my PhD, I was like, probably not going to be a hairdresser. Grant Sanderson from Three Blue, One Brown. That's a really good listen. I don't think it would be good if everyone wanted to be a mathematician because the cold hard truth is it's not, it's not useful enough. Like pure math in and of itself isn't useful enough for too many people to be doing it. I'm going to make that statement. I don't know if I stand by it, but I think I do. <laughs> and Ken River, a man who played a major role in the proof of Fermat's last theorem. When Andrew first heard about the flaw in July of 1993, I guess he didn't believe that it was all that serious. He thought it would just needed patching up. So he must have been aware that I was out there, you know, beating his drum, but he never told me. So it took months before I found out how serious the problem was. Now you can listen to the number file podcast in the usual podcast ways. It should be on most of the players. If you go and get your phone or however you listen to podcasts, do the usual search. You probably know what you're doing by now. I'll also include some links in the description. But I know some of you aren't too red hot on using podcast players just yet, so I'm also putting the episodes on the Number File 2 YouTube channel. Do you know about the Number File 2 YouTube channel? That's where I put extra stuff from Number File main videos, outtakes, bonus material, and also now it's the home of the Number File podcast. So if you don't want to listen to it on your phone or in headphones, you can just play it on a tab on your computer and have it running in the background. More details down in the video description, Number File Podcast, check it out. I'll be back in the next day or two with a normal Number File video.